Well, welcome back to my channel, Mispronounced Adventures. My name's Alex, and last episode was a failure. <laughs> I tried to get to the Pole of Inconvenience of number 39, which is part of the Adventurous's Pole of Inconveniences. And that particular one is the Norwegian-Russian border, and the most sort of northeasterly point. I failed to get there. So I changed my mind, and I decided I'm gonna to go to the three country Ken, but the one where Russia, Norway and Finland all meet. And on my first attempt, I fell off the road immediately, I reversed into a ditch and blocked the diesel heater. Let's see how I get on this time. I looked at the footage from last night of when I stood off the road and it's completely my fault. Well, obviously it's my fault, I was driving, but I was being stupid and I was distracted because when I slip off the road, you can hear me putting my seatbelt on and fiddling with the catch. As I'm fiddling with it, I then drift slightly over to the left and drop off. That's me being stupid. And if it doesn't work today, then I'll give it my best and I'll figure out if I want to walk or I want to try the bike or what. came off at the first second again. Hmm, definitely don't think I can drive. It just, I think the, the road is compacted. It's just compacted um, narrower than the gauge of the van. Slash, I'm falling off the sides of it. Right, it's a 50k round trip. It's from the roadhead, 19 kilometer walk to the normal summer start point, which is a, from there, 5.5 kilometers to the Cairn, another 5.5 kilometers back again. Hopefully camp overnight, and then another 19 kilometers back down the road to get to the van. Not planning to do that in one day in the snow. Um, pack my overnight stuff, got my winter sleeping bag, my tent, food, first aid kit, uh, proverbial is the fan kit, satellite comms, tripod, water. My thoughts if twice I slipped off the road in the first 50 meters from there, probably not the best idea to try and do 19 kilometers or 40, 38 kilometers there and back again. I also tried the My Rider. Not in this uh, conditions. Anyone want to uh, sponsor me a fat electric bike? Right, let's see how far I get. This is so annoying. It looks like such an easy drive. I've driven on plenty of roads like this. For the best, right, not best to walk. About 500 meters in. Of walking through, I've got another 49.9K. Oh. machine so that vehicle might have got back to where it was meant to be parked which is probably the building opposite me and coming to find me oh it's coming back oh it's slowed down Right, well, really lovely chap. Just wanted to know where I was going. Said I wasn't parked in the way. Um, he said, actually, I'm coming back in about half an hour with some others. I'll see if there's some space for you if you want. So I might get a lift in that. Excellent. That machine explains why uh, I slid off. There's two really 
dense bits of snowpack, which is far narrower than my van, so I would have probably been sliding off like that. The long distance, very faint, I can now hear a, an engine. If it's so real, all that tracked machine coming back. Don't know just yet, but uh, hopefully the next 10, 15 minutes I'll find out. It's been about 40 odd minutes since I've seen them. It's definitely starting to sound closer. Garden. Yes. And uh, how are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. Good. I'm not walking. Yeah, I know. I it's a long far hike. Easier. It's a long hike. Yeah. And uh, you know the uh, border rules. And... I, f I read them online, but if you could tell me them again, yeah. it would be appreciated. Okay. I'm not allowed to cross the border, cross to Finland. Oh, okay. That's no problem if you're inside the Schengen. Yeah. Uh, but not Russia. Yep. And you're not allowed to take pictures of any military, uh, Russian military. Yeah. Uh, don't have any threatening behavior Reasonable. towards the uh, Russian border, like throwing stones or yeah. snowballs. No worries. Yeah, and uh, the same with the uh, Trek Tresa. Yeah. Uh, the way between Finland, Norway, and yeah. the Shemis. So you can. Yeah. yeah. Please don't touch the stone either, because okay. it's really easy to cross. And there's a, the stone on yeah. the top where all the three borders meet. Yeah. Do not, do not touch that. Okay. Then you touch all of the oh, Okay, so don't touch, don't touch any of it. Yeah, and okay. please just stay behind the signs, the yeah. yellow signs, no because then it's so much easier to yeah. uh, just stay on our border. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, you can take a picture of Russia as well. Oh, There's okay. no military. No, 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 and you, you cannot communicate with any other okay. people on the Russian, yeah, Russian right. side. Right, so Finland, it's okay. There shouldn't be any civilians there, yeah. but, but uh, you should have rented a scooter. Yeah, I don't, know where, I don't know where to get one from. I couldn't find many places around ah. here. You know, if you want to hike? Yeah. Well, if you've got space, I'd have a lift. But <laughs> yeah, we're not allowed to, I'm sorry. Uh, no worries. But, uh, I think that's it. So Excellent. you can just carry on your hike yeah, yeah. we oh. won't bother you anymore. No worries at all. Are you going that way or turning around? No, we're going that way. I've probably seen you in a couple hours, eh? <laughs> yes, probably. No worries. Okay, have a nice trip. Have a we'll do, you too. Well, there's my lift. They are not allowed to give lifts. I appreciate the guy trying to find out though. But uh, yeah, they just briefed me on all the rules, which is what I've written most of those signs. And um, carry on my walk. Oh look, there's a lovely bench to rest one's weary legs on. No, soldier on. Only 50k, Alex. Only 25k today. A couple more hours. Be nice to have a little bit of a sleep as well. You know, like camp out, be nice. Well, according to my phone, I've just received my welcome text to Russia. Uh, obviously, I'm not in Russia. Just I think we're getting more remote from the Norwegian masts, so the Russian masts are more powerful. So my phone has now sent me the welcome to Russia text. That is a very straight road. Well, it's two o'clock. The sun has officially set 10 minutes ago. Although it's such a, it sets at such a shallow angle. Yeah, it sets at such a shallow angle that I'll have light for a considerable while still. Ideally, I'd like to reach the cairn today in some visibility. I don't mind if the 5k on the way back from the cairn to where I'm going to sleep is in the dark, that's fine. I don't want to uh, have to do 30k tomorrow, I'll do 30k today. And uh, 19k tomorrow. 
checked my GPS. I haven't done it for a couple of hours just because it makes no difference to me getting there. That cave. It actually done slightly further than I thought. I've done 17 and a half K. Which means I've got about 2k left to get to the car park where I'm gonna stay or sleep. And it'll take about four hours. So alright progress actually. So I should be at the cairn, which is about seven hour uh, seven kilometers in total away, in less than two hours. Excellent. Duly noted, don't cross the border. All right, that's Norwegian for three country can. I think that is a glove and not a severed hand of the last person who attempted to cross the border illegally. That way. Okay, this is about kilometer 19. Um, it's going to be a race against time tonight to get there before pitch black. I can see the little hut where I'm going to sleep tonight. Drones are unsurprisingly forbidden. Right, let's go check out the uh, hut. Oh, this will do lovely. Oh, it's got a bag of wood. It's actually a bag of wood. Excellent. Right, quick bit of food in me. Five minute break. Let's get the last 5k done. Well, I'm pretty sure that's Russia. And that looks like some sort of tower watching me. So, 5k to go. Correction, that is uh, Norway still. It's a bit hard to figure out where they're just through the forest where the map is. But there's a bunch of buildings that way on the map. So I think that's a Norwegian post. So watching me anyway, but uh, yeah, not Russia. They're on the other side of that. Right, so uh, they were the ones I saw in the vehicle earlier, but they've seen me from the tower. So they're going to go watch the border whilst I'm at it. Um, I presumably it's not for my safety, it's for the international safety of the agreements between Norway, Russia and Finland because they don't want me to presumably muck it up. So uh, yeah, tooled up, armed, snowmobile, still no lift, but uh, yeah, they said I was fast and I said I'll see him in 40 minutes. Interestingly, earlier, he said I could have uh, walked into Finland if I wanted, and uh, he then said he has got to correct himself. I, c I can't walk over the border into Finland because the United Kingdom is not part of uh, um, the Schengen, which is interesting. I guess I'm only allowed to cross the borders at um, the official border posts, even if they're open or closed. The moon is so bright, I've got a shadow just about. Oh, it's gonna be dark when I get there. Well, that's Russia over there. I can feel I'm getting tired now. I've maintained just under a 5k pace for most of the walk, but I know I'm getting slow. At least the 5k back to where I'm staying tonight. Uh, so I hope I don't have to go far. Well, there's the same there they are, so I guess for a <sighs> Well, finally made it in the dark. It's on the top of that. Yeah, yeah. In the, white, the, white, the white one covered in the white. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of bad in the winter. Yeah. So you can't see it. Some people try to brush, brush it off. <laughs> see, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. You, said, you said not to touch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. International incident. Yeah. Mm. So, and that's Finland. There's no, it's kind of hard to tell that in Finland. Yeah. The border right here isn't that clear as it is in Russia. Okay. You can see the fence that goes, uh, yeah. That's Finland right here, and that's Russia over there. Uh, okay, so Russia is down. I yeah. I can see anything. Right? You can go down there to the 
to sign and read. Yeah. And all. Oh, cheers. Please stay. Yeah. Please try and stay behind. I have time. no intention of going into Russia, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just that some people can see the lines. And... Yeah. Cool. Oh. Right, made it. There's also three time zones here. This is Norway, which is plus one. Russia, which is plus three. Finland, which is plus two. So three time zones almost at once. Oh, this is friends are making sure I'm not doing anything naughty as well. <laughs> right, five kilometer walk back and then, um, yeah. You're filming now. Oh yeah, it's right. yeah. filming, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, made it. Now I can try and do a walk past. <laughs> right, they've got to take the same way, but I'm going to walk back. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, right. Time to go. Five kilometres to get back. They were very nice. They offered me food and water as well, which would be nice of them. Well, pretty much there for protecting the, the border and not me causing an international incident on purpose or by accident by crossing over. There's no mucking about on like just leaning over into Russia. Big trouble. And they're nice enough to uh, fill up my water and offer me food as well. And they're going to overtake me in a few minutes on the same well. Being me, I did actually apologise to the Norwegians for having to come out tonight and uh, watch me at the border. But they said it's not a problem at all. It was nice to do something a bit different. There really aren't very many of them here at this in this post. They were telling me about in the summer, it is still quite problematic. It is very busy and especially problematic with people just touching the cairn or leaning over into Russia. And in recent years, people flying drones and flying drones into Russian airspace. but lovely people. Hey. Well, this is the view for the next hour. Then you can make camp. We can see if I can get a fire going. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I don't sleep. I thought I was going super slow. I just looked at the time on my phone and it said it was half seven. I thought, oh, I'm going so slow if it's half seven. No, it's half five, but I'm so close to Russia that uh, my phone switched to Russian time, which is plus three, and not Norwegian time, which is plus one. So uh, I'm not doing bad. I think I've only got UK to go and uh, I can make camp for the night. There, yeah. little red light in the distance is the Norwegian guard tower, which means I'm almost back. Right. Well, there's the shelter for the night. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. Right, plan. What am I going to do? Got a shelter, good. See my bag, roll mat. It's in my, in my bag. I'm going to sleep at the back of here. Looks quite nice. Um. Whilst I do want to go to bed, I'm going to make a fire. There's a little fire pit in the snow here, which is just out of, just out of frame. Um, and there's a big bag of wood, so I've got plenty of wood for the night. I just need to get it going. I've got a fire starter with me, so hopefully it should work out. Don't really need it for warmth, it's not that cold. It's only like minus one or two at the minute. It might drop down to minus six or minus ten tonight, uh, but again, that sleeping bag I've got will be fine. Yeah, that's the plan. Just make a fire. Just make a fire. Worth making the effort to explore your surroundings. There was a, an outhouse toilet um, 
a dry toilet about 50 meters away through deep snow like up to your knees but full mega pack of toilet roll in there now i've got some tinder for fires not for hookups i've got that on my phone anyway not that i use it it's on, it's on a tangent fire steel tinder wood make some smaller bits for kindling if we'll have a fire we're gonna have a fire Well, that's my little home for the night. Oh. Glad I've done that. Glad I've done that. I know that's hard work. I know I've got 19k tomorrow. But I'm glad I've done it. So I guess this is sort of a camp on the Russian border. Russia is just on the other side of the river. Right, it's my bed made for the night. Fire going, that'll burn out. And for the watchful eyes of Sauron over there. Well, I mean, um, actually, that's a bit harsh. Those are those, 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 those are the Norwegians. My legs are steaming. And my knees. Well, well this is like crap camera. There we go. Right, in bed. Fire's over there. I don't know what time it is. It's probably like half six, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, admin-wise, I'm deducting myself points because I forgot a metal pot, like a my metal mug, so I can't melt snow on the fire, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm going to have limited water for the walkout tomorrow. Um... Yeah, apart from that, feet are all right. I got one blister on my big toe, which is a bit of a weird one. Um, but that's livable. It's not burst, so it's just I didn't. Too much. I didn't feel it for most of the time, so that should be fine. Um, yeah. So bed. I don't know what time it is, mainly because there's three time zones it could potentially be. I don't need to check. It doesn't make any difference. I'm going to get up tomorrow. When um, whenever I wake up. Probably when it gets light, which might be around half six to eight o'clock at the minute. And, um, yeah, walk 19k out of here. Right. I want sleep. Good night. Right. It's half eight in someone's time zone. It is noticeably a bit chillier this morning. I'm not looking forward to getting out of the sleeping bag because I am toasty and warm. This is going to be an uncomfortable half an hour to begin with. These are frozen solid. Nice, nice. Yeah, they are rock solid. Not end of the world because a Gore-Tex lined so it's just the outside which is um frozen which means my feet are going to get cold but they're not going to get wet I just have to wait for my feet to warm this up and thaw them out basically doing the laces isn't going to be very easy though that is the most I could actually do the laces up until the boots thaw out all right notes of the cold this morning it's not that cold though Time to walk out of here. All right, 
I think about two hours to go. I've not looked at the map for the distance, the GPS. Just I think I've been going about two hours. I've had the uh, Norwegian uh, military snow wheel come past a couple of times this morning and they've waved. It'd be nice if I could have a lift, but uh, fair news. I'll get there. I'm knackered. It's the first sign of sunlight, which is uh, definitely appreciated. Doesn't make it much warmer, but it's just nice. It's beautiful, but I've still got kilometers and kilometers to go. I am certainly, I think, a little bit cold. <laughs> I can see the van! Almost back. Oh, I did turn the heating on in the van about an hour ago, so it should be nice and toasty, which will be um, somewhat appreciated given the condition of my face. Well, that might explain why I was a bit cold on the way back. I thought it was minus six. Minus 16. <laughs> Engine preheater on. Minus 10 coolant. Right. Outro time. All right. I am back to the van. And I am tired of sore. 50 kilometer round trip. Right, well, thank you very much for joining me on this ridiculous little trip and a 50 kilometer walk in the winter in the Arctic. Definitely an interesting one. If you've liked this video, consider giving it a like and a comment or if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to see more of this crazy thing that I end up doing, uh, I'm cold, uh, hit the subscribe button and other things you can do to help the channel out. The energy for this trip is supported by Roma batteries because I'm experimenting and testing their new extreme range. So if you're after some extreme batteries or their normal smart generation three batteries for your camper van or other off-grid use, do consider using my um, affiliate link in the description. Helps the channel out and help me fund stupid things like this. I very much need food, water and bed. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.